I forgot to do an introduction to this video, so you're getting one now from my phone. Gear review time. Hope you enjoy it. Yes, the following gear review is going to go over the rod hold all luggage that I have. There's two types in the video. There's a Nash one that unfortunately isn't available anymore, so it's more of a long term review for that one. And there is the Fox Camo Light Rod Sleeves. Also, a little talk about the boat as well, thrown in just because I spoil you. Hmm. Stuck still doing gear reviews, folks. Can't help that. But I thought I'd do it outside today. Get my fresh air for the day. People have asked about this here. I shouldn't really slap this because it's rocking the whole camera. But people have asked about this. This is a Nash rod hold all. Holds five rods, two up, three down. Or three up, two down. As you can see, this is exactly how it would be if I'm fishing. You'd have your retaining sling, you'd have your net, net pole. This is just a spinning rod, this isn't usually in there, and this knife isn't usually in there either. It was just put in there for somewhere to put it, keep it out of the way, so let's keep that to the one side shall we because I'll need to take that into the house you can obviously store additional rods in here if you wanted to I don't personally do it but you can do if you're bringing additional rods with you space for another three there's a padded baffle bit and here you have space for the rods these are my three pike rods Again, this hasn't been open since the last time I was pike fishing, so it's probably good to get the air out of it. I'm going to be taking, or get the air into it. I'm going to be taking the line off these reels because it looks like we're not going to get much of a fishing season anymore, so that's all going to come off. But this, Nash don't make this no more. Uh, you can see by the, the pattern it was like a Nash reel tree, a copy of a reel tree or attempted a reel tree. Personally, I quite like this rod hold though. I mean, I've had it for what? It, it must be going on 13 years, 12 or 13 years. Easily going on 13 years. I use these little Velcro tabs to kind of keep everything in place. But everything just sits on here nice and easy. There's no there's no great need to overload it. Your rods are nice and protected. They've got their own little divider. If you wanted to add more rods to it, like this is my spot rod. If you wanted to add it to it, you would be adding it in this direction. So that the, the rails up, the, up here, the so it's basically upside down, but I'm keeping the spod rod out because with the course fishing season, hopefully touching wood going to start, I want to need to use it to put some uh, spods into in for bait. So this little protector, this is all padded. The one thing about this, it's all very padded. There's all enough places to put stuff. There's all. Lots of padding to protect your rods and your reels. Good quality. Good quality zip. And it doesn't weigh that much for I suppose it would weigh a lot more if you put more into it. On the other side, two very large pockets. Ah. 
So, you can upload this. I have put my brolly system into it and I've put the rod pod bag all into this one and then into this one here. I've used for bank sticks, other bits and pieces. But as you can see, we're talking serious pockets here. Lots of space, lots of room. You know, I don't tend to put that much in it. I tend to keep this as light as possible. I just slip it up, keep it clipped nice and tight. And that is my rod hold all. There is an aluminium spine that runs the length of this to keep everything nice and straight. Stops it bending over. So all in all, this was the Natch Apache rod hold all. Nice rod all, rod hold all. Good bit of luggage. Unfortunately, when I bought this, I already had a backpack. I already had other luggage, so I didn't buy the whole set. Nowadays, this stuff here is like uh, rocking horse poo. It's hard to get hold of, so you just can't get hold of it anymore. But literally, I have had this for years, and it is still on the go. Zips are still working. Everything's still good with it. You know, I can't fault the padded handles. Good handles as well. Good carry straps as well. When you put it onto your shoulder and you go for a walk, it doesn't fall off, which is excellent. So that's what I'd store my normal rods in. This is what I store my 13 foot rods in. This is a Fox Camelite rod hold off or rod sleeve. Again, decent zips. You know, they've got, they've got clips on the inside here and they've got loops at the top. So there's like a loop at the top of that. Uh, I'm supposing that's going to clip into Fox luggage somehow. I don't really do have the rest of the Fox luggage for it. But the top end here. It's good for your 50 mil eyes, your butt eyes. You know, tons of tons of room in it as well. These are 13 foot rods. You know, nice padded handles, grab handles. Very padded on the inside. And again, let me show you this. Relatively good quality zips. These are metal, they don't break. See if you're ever getting zips and you see this like with a plastic tab. If these are plastic, then that's, don't pick it up. Try and get SBS zips if you can because they stand up to the abuse a lot better. Like I say, these contain my 13 foot rods and I have one that fits my uh, drifter rod. I tend to leave these in the van when I'm fishing, unless I'm going somewhere where I specifically need these. Like if I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to be fishing at long distance, I take the 13 foot rods with me. If I'm going somewhere where I know I'm going to be a drifter float fishing, I take the drifter rod with me. So, there we have it. Quick rundown on how I store uh, the various rods I have. As you can see, this is the boat that I have as well. I'm planning to do a full rebuild on this here. Let me just show you. The seat's good. It can stay. The aluminium lockers are all right. I guess they can stay, but the carpet has to go. It's getting ripped out. The sides will be re stripped and painted, sanded and painted. And probably the biggest job I'll have is the trailer. I'm going to have to get a new trailer purpose built for it. But there we have it. It's a 14 foot C-Nymph. So that's the boat. Like I say, lots of work. I want the floors replaced. I want a bulge put in. I'm taking out this here. I'm going to mount a decent fish finder. In here, this box here, it just has the batteries for the leisure craft, for the le for electric motors. So lots to do I'm afraid, but like I said the seat's pretty good, the seat's solid, 
and these aluminium lockers will probably get reused but the rest of the boat it needs to be uh, stripped, sanded, new paint uh, I'm going to put some more rod hold holders on it and a new, whole new electrical system I'm going to retrofit the front with a lot with the sensor checkers this and use it strictly for anchors uh, buoys and stuff like that there but that's the plan for this summer if I get into the new house if I can get my garage set up but this is what has to be this is what will be done to the boat and then you'll see me doing pike fishing afloat it's kind of hard to do this when I'm living where I'm living I have no access to a power point out here in the, where the cars are parked so I would have to run you know a, a, a pretty substantial power lead out from the house to here so and with my luck I would do that and then there would be a big gust of rain so if I have a garage it's better because I can get it inside the garage and I can get it off the ground sanded down repainted resprayed and then new flooring new carpet all round the carpet's going to go all round it and new electricals new, f new fish finder sonar and GPS uh, lights under the under the rim of the collar so that's the plan rods get held on to the, up at the top here with this strap you see me put this on the video here uh, a few uh, a couple of videos ago they're just held in place by velcro as you can see they can kind of they're not going to move anywhere because they're all velcroed in main rod bag just sits in here amongst all the rest of the fishing gear so there you have it, how I store the fishing rods, it's not exactly rocket science or groundbreaking, it's just what I do. I'm choking to get back out on the bank though, I'm really really missing angling. Who'd have thought some idiot in China eating a bat would do this to the whole civilised world, eh? Anyway, until the next time I see you, take care of yourselves, look out for each other. And if you like what you see, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Go on, it makes sense.